Is this happening to you? then you're in the right place for video game training. In this video, I'm going to show you how to defeat the double Crucible Knights, the one with the sword and shield and the one with the lance, located at the Oriza Hero's Grave. You also get an insanely good armor set for defeating this boss, which is the Crucible Knight armor set, as well as the Crucible Knight Greatsword known as Ordovus's Greatsword. If you want to be an absolute legend and support the channel, then make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. My name is Azavar or Azza, now let's get into the video. I'll just show you where this is located on the map. So the Hero's Grave itself is just here. To actually get to this Hero's Grave, you'll need to go from this outer wall battleground site of grace, work your way along this path. You'll find a spirit spring just down here. So fall down there and then you'll go underneath this bridge, follow this path around and you'll find the hero's grave just here. Just ahead of us is the bridge that you would go underneath. Just follow this around and then you'll see the entrance over here. You will need to make your way through the hero's grave itself. And then when you get to the end, you'll find the boss fight. I'll just show you the setup that we're working with for this fight. We've got two keen scimitars plus 17. We've got a kite shield plus 14, although we won't really be using the kite shield. We've got a green turtle talisman for increased stamina recovery speed. We've got a winged sword insignia, which increases our attack power as long as we keep attacking. We've got a kindred of rots talisman, which increases our attack if there's poison or scarlet rot active in the area. I'll just show you on the map where you can get that kindred of rots talisman. You'll have to complete this cave here, Seath Water Cave. We'll also be throwing some poison pots and some poison bone darts. We'll be consuming some exalted flesh. And depending on the situation, we might apply some poison grease or some fire grease. Okay, so let's get into the actual fight. What we're going to be doing here is focusing on the Crucible Knight first and taking him out. That's the one with the lance type weapon. And then we're going to be switching our focus to Crucible Knight or Dovis. That's the one with the sword and shield. To make this work, we have to be quite aggressive and quite fast. So let's give it a go. First of all, we'll pop the flask and then exalted flesh and then fire grease. Then we'll get the poison pots ready. Enter the arena, use summons straight away, lock on, throw one poison pot and move towards our right a little bit. Get ready to dodge this bad boy. And we want this guy's attention to be on us and kind of like bring him away from the spirit ashes a little bit. We need to land three poison pots to make sure poison is applied. And then we need to be hyper aggressive on this Lance guy. Um, so just go crazy. Try and be as aggressive as humanly possible. I'm just going to back up and heal a little bit. But uh, basically, we want to be doing as much damage to this guy before our Spirit Ashes die. Um, which is right now. So one, two, three. Uh, roll on the three to avoid that one. So yeah, our spirit ashes have died, um, but that's okay. So what we'll do is, if you look at his health, okay, roll on the three for that. You can punish after that as well. Uh, if you look at his health, the poison is kind of like ticking away at his HP. Uh, so what we'll do is kind of like lure them around the arena a little bit. You can heal if you've got some good distance. And you could also throw some more poison pots or some poison darts at this guy because uh, he doesn't have a shield. So it makes it a bit easier to like throw stuff at him. Whereas the other one uh, just blocks pretty much everything that you throw. So just try and get your um, additional items thrown at him like poison pots or poison darts or if you've got any lightning pots or fire pots or anything like that. Just try and throw them uh, as the poison is kind of like ticking down his health. Um, you kind of got to keep an eye out for the sword and shield guy in the corner of your eye as you're running around. Uh, the poison has worn off, but that's okay. So what we'll do next, he's only really going to take like a couple of hits um, to actually take him out. But yeah, just keep an eye out for the uh, sword and shield guy in the corner of your eye. Otherwise, uh, you will get kind of punished. Uh, by that guy. I'll try and show you the poison darts if possible. 
at this point it's probably just worth um, attacking him if you look at his health it's just going to take one hit to take him out but let's go for it there we go so that's um that's that one and then what i would recommend is if you need to like rebuff or heal or anything at this point i would run like the entire length of the arena then pop an item so we'll pop a flask we'll try and put some poison grease on might be able to reapply poison to him uh, so for this particular enemy it's all about patience really and looking out for opportunities to strike and when you do strike you're probably going to be able to attack like one time uh, sometimes you can attack more like two times three times but most of the time it's usually just one strike so like now is like one strike roll through uh, so let's focus on this guy this particular attack you want to be kind of like behind him or like run or roll behind him if possible let roll through the shield bash one strike roll through one strike I hit the shield there but there you go uh, try and once again try and get behind him usually one strike sometimes two strikes with that one uh, depending on where you land and stuff one strike one strike Phase change, you can punish there if you're close, but we weren't. I'm going to roll in the opposite direction for that, and you can use that chance to rebuff. Uh, pop your bits and bobs on. Probably go for Fire Grease, because you can reapply Poison to him, but he's quite resistant to Poison, to be fair. Um, so you might want to go for uh, Fire for the additional damage. Uh, you can try for the Poison, though. But you'll notice like when you throw stuff at this guy, uh, it doesn't really uh, do much, because you've just got a giant shield uh, he's got like mechanics where he punishes item usage as well so if he's like a mid-range distance between you and him if you use a flask or an item he's kind of got like a gap closer so that's why uh, we get like insane levels of distance uh, but in his uh, second phase like this it's quite similar apart from he uses a few extra attacks so we'll try and reapply food buff if possible might even have chance for fire grease if we're lucky, but uh, there we go. So one attack. That's the tail. The tail whip is insanely fast. This time we're going to roll through him. Probably going to tail up. That's the double tail whip because it's got a slightly longer animation. You can punish twice after the double tail whip. This one we're going to try and get behind him once again. It's a little bit spicy on that one because it's got a crazy like area of effect on it. Um. But yeah, just be careful of the double tail whip animation. Might see it again here. Roll through him. Gonna go for double one and two. You can punish here. I'm not gonna do it because it's just gonna kill him. And I uh, just wanna show you some more bits and bobs first. Roll through, punish once. That's a single tail whip. So you can punish after the single tail whip. And you can punish twice after the double. Now once again, you can roll in the opposite direction if you need to rebuff. We apply some fire grease and just be like really really patient looking out for those chances to strike like there uh, we will roll towards him see what he does probably double one and two you can punish twice after that one other than that that is the fight hopefully you enjoyed this video and it helped you out in some way if it did remember to like subscribe and drop a comment you can check out all the other content that i make at azavar.com 